Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. Our Langley Research Center officially celebrated its 100th anniversary on July 17th. Groundbreaking took place on that date in 1917 for what is now known as Building 587, the first aeronautical research laboratory erected in 1918 for NASA's predecessor, the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. The establishment of Langley, NASA's first field center, marked the start of our quest to achieve aerospace excellence through the scientific study of flight. The sixth annual International Space Station Research and Development Conference took place July 17th through 20th in Washington, D.C. Scientists, researchers, and leaders in the aerospace industry were in attendance for an in-depth conversation about the space station as a catalyst for discovery. Keynote speakers included our acting administrator, Robert Lightfoot, and astronaut Kate Rubens, who discussed her groundbreaking work sequencing DNA in space aboard the space station in 2016. Pre-flight training continues for Expedition 5253, the next crew headed to the station. Our astronaut Randy Bresnik, Sergei Rizansky of Roscosmos, and Paolo Nespoli of the European Space Agency participated in traditional ceremonies July 16th in Star City, Russia, before heading to Kazakhstan with the backup crew to continue training. Bresnik, Rizansky, and Nespoli are scheduled to launch to the station on July 28th. That whistling sound, and this one, are examples of noises electrons and other charged particles make when tossed around in space by electromagnetic plasma waves. Changes in frequency of electric and magnetic fields recorded by our two Van Allen probe spacecraft orbiting Earth were used to produce the sounds. The Van Allen probes are being used to better understand the dynamics of space weather and its effects on satellites and telecommunications. We participated in Mars Day July 21st at the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum in Washington. The annual celebration of the Red Planet included exhibits, speakers, and educational activities. There was also a Mars concept rover developed using advice from NASA. The rover, which is on tour from the Kennedy Space Center Visitors Complex in Florida, is designed to demonstrate features and equipment a future human exploration vehicle might need to explore the surface of another planet. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at www.nasa.gov.